Hey, it's Steve Barcelo again, short video. We've set up a GoFundMe page to try to help getting supplies, and I'll explain why in a minute. I'll put the QR code and stuff in there. I'll do a short little video here. All right, uh, winter is hitting the mountains. They've already gotten some snow, temperatures are dropping. These people have, a lot of these areas have nothing, no power, nothing. So they need things that are being asked for are like uh, little buddy heaters. Now looking up prices, these things aren't cheap. I mean, 80 to 125, and they can go above that if you get the bigger, fancy ones. These are propane, one pound tanks. Camp stove, something to cook off, and it, plus it'll be a heat source too. Uh, I've seen some as cheap as 25, I don't know if they're, they're still available, uh, up to 100 bucks. And once again, I think you're gonna be $50 range. I think you'll find your normal camp stove, double burner, take a propane tank, one pounder, or you hook up to a B tank, if you not a B tank, a 20 pounder if you have it. Uh, for probably about 50 bucks, I think that. So if we can get a good deal on those, get some money in. Uh, phone chargers. So not just the cords, but the actual chargers themselves. Some are solar, some just you plug in and charge at another location. And a lot of those have a, a light built into, so it works as a flashlight, plus it's a way to charge your phone. You're not, you're not, not going to do a lot more with them besides that. Uh, it's a basic thing. And those aren't too bad. The uh, phone chargers are going to be somewhere if like, you might even get them cheaper. I've seen, I'm going to say about 10 bucks. On up, and those you can go as up, up as much as you know thirty dollars, or you can pay a lot if you want to get a real fancy one. But we just need basic stuff right now to get the communications out there. Oh, so we need a uh, 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 power packs, sort of like Jackeries, uh, Blue Yetis. Now they can get expensive too. There are cheap ones. There's some under a hundred dollars. Be small. Be a basic. Uh, be a fancy phone charger. Basically, we'll have a one ten outlet in there. Uh, be allow them to do something small. You're not going to run a microwave. You're not going to, you know, maybe if you get some of the slightly bigger ones, you might do a coffee maker. I mean, they have monster ones you can do a lot with, but I'm talking just basic stuff we can get. So those are anywhere from like, I'd say on the low end, maybe if you're lucky, 80 bucks, more likely about 100. And that'd be a pretty small one, like a real basic jackery, more like 125, I'd imagine. You know, 400 plus, wherever you go with them. Starlink systems, those are expensive. Now, uh, Starlink is giving, I believe, at least three months free, and that's $150 a month, or less. maybe they're already giving them the $50 uh, plan. I don't know what they're giving them, but they give them something free, but you still got to buy the equipment. So the Starlinks are about 500 bucks for the equipment. And then once you get them out there, multiple people can use it. You can set up a, a, a hot spot and let people get on. Uh, flashlights, rechargeable flashlights. Those aren't too expensive. Uh, we're looking for something you can get battery operated ones but then we have to have a way to charge the batteries or get them an endless supply of batteries uh headlamps are a good thing to get and there are rechargeable headlamps matter of fact we have a few in the museum i'm pretty much sold out and they're about 15 25 bucks or in that range i mean some go as high as 35 you get a real nice one you weave your hand around those kind of silly stuff but basically these are safety items it's a good way for them to get stuff so this is basic stuff now we still need antihistamines uh, I have people bring by some more stuff today. Uh, we haven't gotten on the road. One of my vehicles needs to be uh, checked out. I have a belt squealing. I don't want to get stuck up the mountains with that, become a burden to somebody. Uh, beyond that, uh, antihistamines, uh, I got cold and flu medicine, over the counter stuff, uh, things like that. So there's still stuff. Uh, I've got a bunch of wool hats. Those don't take up a lot of room. We can get a lot of that up there. Gloves, uh, warm socks. I mean, these are things that everyone can use. Now, a lot of the places are not taking clothes. Uh, like the church groups and stuff are, but electronics, the heaters and stuff. Now, obviously, there's bigger things. There's generators. Uh, those are hard for, you know, you're going to need a, a large truck to bring a bunch of generators. But if you can donate a generator, do so. And there are smaller generators. Like Harbor Freight sells some nice small ones that actually run well. And then on top of this, now, once they get these things, they're going to need the fuel to run them. They're going to need uh, uh, even some uh, little extension cords or drop cords, as they're called around here. Uh, just to plug things in, you know, three-way splitters, things of that sort. We'll, we'll, we'll keep the list going, but this is the things I'm being told to get. So the price of these items are getting more expensive, such as cases of water, boxes of, uh, you know, cereal, and, you know, canned food. And, you know, they still need canned food, too. I mean, anything with the, with the pull top, I got a bunch of soups and stuff. I'm bringing it up. I was just able to get it cheap. But they do have pretty much, they got the MERs there. They got a, a lot of water most of these places. Uh, I'm not sure how the diapers and stuff are going, but that's another bulk item, just like toilet paper and paper towel. I'm, I'm hearing that those are coming in. Uh, Walmart's been good, a lot of other places. Now I'm going to do another thing later on animals. I'm waiting to re hear back from PETA. 
and uh, find out what they need as far as uh, dog food, uh, pet supplies. I got a whole bunch of dog bowls, things like that. I brought dog food and cat food up last time. Another thing that gets, gets to be bulky real quick. Uh, but just find out what else they need. I'll do a whole separate video on that. Uh, please uh, share this. Uh, get, the, get the word out. We're just looking to bring in some donations so we can get some of these items in. I'm going to do is make sure everything's very transparent. Uh, there will be receipts of everything we purchase and where they've been, where they've been delivered. So there's obviously nothing silly going on here. Uh, this is just, uh, we've gone through well over $1,000 just out of my personal stuff, not to mention everything that's coming to the museum has gone back out. And, uh, and there's other costs there. I mean, it's our cost, uh, you know, gas, gas is still very expensive. Uh, and of course, we've got to grab a motel somewhere along the way. And I'm, of course, I'm dragging my rescue dog with me. But uh, all the more reason to uh, take care of animals out there. And there's not just pets, cats and dogs. There's going to be a lot of them lost out there and confused, especially with this cold weather. It's going to be a problem. So it's going to be yeah, getting cages to get them, collars, leashes, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but then there's the, the, uh, the regular livestock. And there's going to be, you know, goats, horses, cows. I mean, it's, it's going to be a nightmare. And this is just starting. I mean, you know, we're just getting up there uh, where they're still looking for people i mean it's a mess this is going to go on for months and months and months and the rebuild's probably going to take a year or better maybe even two all right thanks for watching if one be good to each other do us do me a favor share this link get the qr code out there and let's uh if anyone thinks there's something we're missing put it down below all right thanks